Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Technology and today in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to host a website on your home computer and access it from anywhere. So you just need to follow my steps and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates like this. So without getting much delay, let's get into it. First of all, I will install IIS which is also known as Internet Information Service by which you can uh, you know, a uh, host a uh, HTTP or HTTPS or FTP server in your Windows computer. So there are lots of other software is available in the internet like uh, XAMPP server or WAMP server. So by which you can host uh, a simple HTTP website on your Windows 10 computer or any Windows machine, you know. So in this case, I will use a uh, Windows inbuilt feature, which is IIS. Okay. So before I install IIS on my machine, so I will create a restore point on my computer because if anything goes wrong, you know, I can easily uh, go back to my previous settings. Okay, so for that you need to go to your start menu and type over there create a restore point this one and after that click over there and you will get this window. Now go to configure and after that you have to click on turn on system protection and click on OK. After that, click on create and put any name over there. Uh, I, I can put over there like uh, restore point technology. And after that, you have to click on create. And as you can see, it's showing like creating a restore point. So it will take uh, maybe uh, 30 to 40 seconds. So you have to wait for a few seconds. So after done, click on close. So whenever you need to go back to your uh, previous settings, you just need to open uh, restore point. After that, go to system restore. And now you have to click on next. So from here, you have to select your restore point, which you have created already. And after that, click on next. And you can easily go back to your uh, by default settings means previous settings. Okay. So now I will, what I'll do is I, uh, I will go to my start menu and go to my control panel, computer control panel. And after that, I will install a IIS service. So, so what you have to do after go to the control panel, make sure that you have selected here category. Okay. From VY. And after that, click on programs. Now click on programs and feature or else you can click on this turn windows feature on or off on or off option over there so just click over there and here you need to find uh, internet information service as you can see here it is so just check this option internet information service iis and after that click on ok and it will uh, searching for required files and after install you have to reboot your computer means restart your computer so once it is done, click on close and after that you have to restart your computer. So after restart your computer, you have to open your browser on your Windows 10 computer. And if you will type over there localhost. So as you can see by default IIS default web page is showing over there. So you can also type over there your IP. So if you don't know your IP, how to check, then just go to your start menu and type over there CMD. Now click on enter. And after open CMD on your computer, you have to type over there IP config. Now press enter and you will get your IP address over there. So just copy that IP address and just paste it on your browser. So as you can see, it's showing my website over there. So now if you want to change the default web page to your own web page, which you have created, then what you have to do, you need to just minimize this window, go to your my computer, go to this PC, go to under C drive. Now go under I, INET pub, this folder. And after that go under www root. So under www root, you will get two files over there. So you have to delete to files and after that what I'll do is I will create my own diff, uh, simple web page okay as a demo purpose so I will create my own web page so I will create some HTML web page so I will put some command 
HTML command over there. After put your HTML command on your notepad, go to file, click on save as. So select here all files and put the name like index.html whatever you want. Like I will put over there index.html and after that click on save. Okay. So let me open my HTML page. So as you can see HTML page is working. Technology my website. And now what I'll do is I will copy this index file under www root. Okay. After done, go to your uh, start menu and type over there IIS, which is Inter in Internet Information Service. And after that, you have to expand this one. Here is a default website as you can see. So just click on restart after select the default website from here, click on restart. Now let's see it's working or not this. So I will reload this page. As you can see technology, my website is showing over there. So now what you have to do, you need to go to the google.com. And after that type over there, ng rock r o k rock and after that you have to click on this download button you will get so you have to click on download button and now from here you have to click on download for windows now click on save and after download click on open folder so here is the zip file as you can see. So, so after download, right click and click on extract all. Now click on extract. Once it is done. So here is a folder as you can see. So copy that one and ngrock.exe file and go to under your C drive and make one folder like I will put over there technology folder I will make over there and under the folder you have to copy paste that exe file okay so now what you have to do you need to go to your start menu and type over there power cell now click on windows power cell so after open windows power cell on your computer you have to put some command over there which I'll give you on my video description so first I will go to under this folder location technology where my ng rock file is saved. So what I have to do is just put over the CD then space then C then trick then press tab after that press enter. So after go to that location where you have saved uh, this exe file. So as you can see I am under uh, C. A technology folder so if we'll type over there ls command as you can see ngrock.exe file is showing over there so now I have to put some command over there dot slash ngrock.exe space http space 80 okay after that press enter and it will give you one uh, link over there from that link you can access your website from anywhere okay so now i'm going to try this link from my um, mobile internet okay so now i will try to access this website from my mobile internet okay so for that i have to open google chrome on my android mobile phone and after that i have to type that url over there And also I will try to access this website from HTTPS link. So I hope this video will really help for you and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. 
and also don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates like this. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Take care.